Hello, good evening and welcome to the Commentary Hub's coverage of the UEFA Women's Euros 2022. What a pl- We are we at the Commentary Hub are delighted to be bringing you uh our very own uh coverage of the UEFA of the of the UEFA Women's Euro 2022 and it will take place throughout England and it is the second time that England has hosted um has hosted the European Championships they for their first ho- they, they first hosted it all the way back in 2005 and uh, yes unfortunately they did not get past beyond the group stage however this however however t- However, this uh, however this generation of England players um, are like are are likely to uh, are likely to go even as far as uh, the semi-finals and even the final. In my view, um, they reached the semi-finals in Euro 2017, only to lose out to eventual winners, the Netherlands. And Mike Harneman's just coming in, saying good evening to saying good evening as well. So good evening, Mike. Hope you are well and. Uh, and uh, they also reached uh, the semi-finals of the World Cup of the Women's World Cup in 2019, where they lost to eventual winners, the United States. Tonight, England host Austria, and uh, they've actually met each other before. They also and uh, they, and they've, and in actual fact, they've met each other recently. Most recently, they met um, during a uh, Women's World Cup qualifying campaign. Um, back in November at the at the Stadium of Light in Sunderland, um, Ellen White was the only goal scorer. And JB Sports, good evening to you as well. Saying good luck for tonight. Enjoy. And the game is taking place at Old Trafford, home of Manchester United. The nation has waited a lot. The nation has waited a long time for this momentous occasion. People are hoping that it not, that not only will it inc- that, that that it will that it will increase the profile and raise the awareness of women's football um, in England, not just at professional, but also at but also at uh, semi and grassroots level. England have been uh, England have been in superb form going into this game. As uh, they, as not only have they been unbeaten in their World Cup qualifying campaign, they also won three build-up friendlies to 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 the Euros. They beat Belgium, ne- the Netherlands, and Switzerland. So, so should they face them in later tournaments? I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet against them. I wouldn't bet against them beating them for. Um, for for real, as opposed to the friendlies, they also won the Arnold Clark Cup early this year. So it's fair to say that uh, the Lionesses under Serena Wiegmann are on a roll. And uh, and Austria, they, as you mentioned, they also reached the semi-finals in Euro 2017, only to lose to Denmark on penalties. And they qualified as runners-up in their group, conceding only three goals. The winners of their group were France. And uh, before we get on to the um, and before we get on to the uh, the lineups, I should point out that Lisa Kolb has withdrawn after contracting COVID nineteen, and Maria Platner is out with a shoulder injury. So now on to the lineups, starting with England. In goal is number one Mary Earps. Remaining team, the remaining members, number two, Lucy Bronze. Number three, Rachel Daly. Number four, Kira Walsh. Number five, Millie Bright. Number seven, six, number six, Millie Bright, I should say. Number seven, Beth Mead. Number eight, the captain, Leah Williamson. Number nine, Ellen White. Number 10, Georgia Stanway. Number 11, Lauren Hemp. And number 14, Fran Kirby for Austria. And the starting lineup is number one, Manuela Zinsberger. The remaining, the remaining players. Number three, Katarina Naschenweng. Number seven, Karina Weininger. Number eight, Barbara Dunst. Number nine, Sarah Zadrazil. Number 10, Laura Freisinger. 
Number 11, Victoria Schnaderbeck, the captain. Number 12, Laura Weinrotzer. Number 15, Nicole Bieler. Number 17, Sarah Puntigam. And number 19, Varina Hanshaw. Substitutes for England in substitutes for England are the two goalkeepers, Hannah Hampton and Ellie Roebuck. Number five, Alex Greenwood. Number 12, Jess Carter. Number 15, Demi Stokes. Number 16, Jill Scott. Number 17, Nikita Paris. Number 18, Chloe Kelly. Number 19, Beth England. Number 20, Ella Toon. Number 22, Lossie Wubben Moy. And number 23, Alessia Russo. Austria substitutes are Isabella Kresch and Jasmine Powell. And Jasmine Powell, the other, the other goalkeepers. Number two, Marina Je, Marina George Marina Je, Marina Georgavia Georgavia. Number four, Selena De Selena Deegan. Number five, Annabelle Sharshing. Number six, Katerina Scheitel. Number thirteen, Virginia Kirkberger. Number fourteen, Marie Hobinger. Hobinger. Number sixteen, Jasmine Ada. Number 18, Julia Hickelsberger Fuller. Number 20, Lisa Makash. And number 22, Stephanie, I Stephanie Ensinger. And uh, a refer and uh, and uh, a ma and uh, for the match officials, our refer and for the match officials, our referee is Marta Huerta de Aether. Assistant referee of, of Spain and our assistant referees are Guadalupe Porras Ayuso of Spain and Francesca Di Monte of Italy. Uh, fourth official Stephanie Frappa of France. Uh, on VAR tonight is Jose Maria Sanchez and assistant VAR Guillermo Cuadra Fernandez. This is the first women's European. This is the first time um, at a major women's tournament. At a major at a major international tournament for women, that VAR has been implement that VAR will be in use, and the UEFA delegate is Maria is Maria Mifsud of Malta. So the clock. So uh, we're now just uh, so we're now just about so, so we're now just about uh, six or so minutes away from the start of what could potentially. Be a tournament to remember, not just in England but throughout Europe. And as I speak, we're just we're just about we're just about we're just about going through uh, the last few just about going through the last few seconds um, of last few minutes, I should say, of the opening ceremony at um, at Old Trafford. The uh, performers are are um, starting to uh, starting to make their way off the pitch. So just so the teams can be what. Just those teams that um, can walk out. Some uh, just seen a few many players uh, coming out, uh, walking around with the, um, uh, the uh, so I mean delegates and performers waving the uh, UEFA uh, Women's Euro twenty UEFA Women's Euro twenty twenty two flag. And according to JB Sports, um, there are some of the latest odds to win the Euros. Um, according to Paddy Power, Spain are three to one favourites. Though an injury to Alexia Puteas will do them no favours whatsoever. England are four to one. Holland to France, uh, Holland and France, I should say, are five to one. And Sweden six to one. And Germany are uh, odds at seven to one. And uh, and as for the rest, they have an odd. Uh, and as for the rest, they have an odd. Uh, they they're at their odds are at sixteen to one. And and uh, those other, and uh, those other, and those other, and those other teams will likely include the runners-up from the previous Euros, Denmark. So the atmosphere is now, so the atmosphere building up inside the stadium. The crowd, are, the crowd are enjoying the uh, the uh, the opening ceremony so far. And uh, the uh, and both flags of England and Austria being are being laid out um, inside the stadium. And the players are now at the mouth. Uh, the players are now at the foot of um, that are now at the mouth of the tunnel. As they prepare to come out, Leah Williamson composing herself. She has been a she has been a superb captain for the Lionesses in place of the injured Steph Horton, who was ab who has been absent for for much of who has been absent for much of the season. Uh, Leah Williamson had a couple of 
had a couple of spells with injury herself, but um, but so uh, she has been, ve- but uh, but as I say, she has been very effective against. But she, as I say, she has been very effective as uh, as 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 captain, and uh, and uh, some people are saying that Sir Serena Ve- that Sir Serena Vigman couldn't have picked a better player to uh, to uh, to lead the side out. The fans that. The fans inside the stadium getting ready to uh, to show, getting ready to show the support. Some one of quite a few, quite a lot of them are holding England flags as well. Um, Austria looking, Austria trying to compose themselves as well. England doing a bit more, England doing a bit more in the ways of exercises. Mike is saying that Mike's saying that he's hoping for a positive start. Want to see a good, stronger performance. He's going for a three nil win for England. And just as I say that, the teams are now leaving. Are now are now leaving the tunnel and going to walk out onto the pitch and on come and uh, just caught a, just got sight of the ball there um, in uh, um, in whites with dashes of blue and purple and uh, the team sort of walk and the team's now walking out onto the field applause all round uh, going uh, going all round um, going all round the pitch. Um, uh, uh, the majority of supporters inside the stadium will likely be from England, and uh, there should be quite a few um, Austrian supporters. But um, whereabouts whereabouts in the stand they are, I don't know yet. And uh, the T and uh, the T and uh, both England and Austria now gathering around onto the centre um, of the pitch. So it will soon be t- so it will soon be time for the national anthems. Last few Austrian players making their way. Onto the centre, onto the onto the centre of the pitch. So we get ready now as we pause. So we now, so we now get ready as we pause for the national anthems. And uh, the under the remaining and the remaining delegate and uh, the last and uh, the uh, the national anthems will actually be sung live. Um, yes, singers. So now well, it's now time for the national anthem of Austria. Both national anthems sung with great gusto by the players um, and the fans, and also the two opera singers who were uh, who were uh, who who sung live for the audience. The players now doing the customary handshakes, and uh, Austria's and Austria, as I mentioned, were holding out shirts for both um, um, for both uh, the players I just mentioned who are absent, and uh, 
The lineups for England. Earps starts in goal. As I mentioned, then it's the back four of Daly, Williamson, Bright and Bronze. Walsh, Stanway um, are in midfield. The three forwards, and it's actually a snag and midfield formation of Hemp, Walsh, Kirby, Stanway and Mead. Ellen White is the lone striker, or should I say Hemp? Um, or should I say Hemp, Kirby and Mead are flanking White up front. As for Austria, Manuela Zinsberger start with Zinsberger in goal. And the back four of Austria of fight of uh, back four of back four for Austria of Weinreuter, Weinringer, uh, Weininger, uh, Schnaderbeck, and Hanshaw with Puntigam with Puntigam in midfield and uh, the and the forward four of Dunst, Zadrazil, Frey. Freisinger and Narschenweng with Bieler, the lone striker. England are playing in a 3-5, are playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. For Austria, it is it is a 4-1-4-1. So we're now so we're now just counting down the last cup. We're now just we're now just counting down the last couple of minutes until. The start of the Women's Euro until the start of the UEFA Women's Euros in 2022 was meant. They were meant to take place last year, but due to COVID, not but due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and restrictions, that would that was impossible. So it was actually pushed back. It was also pushed back um, to as uh, 2022 to accommodate the Men's Euros, which took place last year. England may have lost. The England men's team may have fallen at the final hurdle last year, but the women's team are confident that they can do that they can do much better here. And JB Sports is commented by saying that England will win 2-0. So 2 so, so so 2 so 2 nil to England. Uh, says JB, well we shall see. Um, personally, I think England will win against. Personally, I think England will win against Austria, given how strong they were against them in the world in the Women's World Cup qualifying rounds. So the so so the teams now now sprinting that now, now making their way into their final positions, and this will be Austria who will kick us off with Barbara Dunst and we ready to to kick off proceedings with the ball. Austria are playing in black. Um, as the away as as the side that's are away, England are wearing their traditional all white. So the so everyone as one takes the knee in support of uh, support of the ongoing prejudices uh, around the world right now. And uh, but a bit of confusion going on as uh, as we as we thought we moved too early, but. But we're away now for the start of the Women's Euros 2022. And it's Austria straight into action. And it's Austria straight into action with the ball. But England managed to, uh, to head the ball clear. And the ball has now just gone to uh, Fr uh, Freisinger. But, um, but England appears to have that one covered. But it's now Austria back in possession. Uh, but it's now Austria back in possession with the ball. The ball has now been caught by Freisinger. Freisinger gives it away to England. But... Um, but so that was not the stars I would have expected to see um, uh, from Austria. Already straight, already straight, already straight in there and under control. Zadrazil with the ball momentarily, but it's been given. Up, but the ball is, but it was almost taken by England, and it was almost, and it was passed down as far as Schnaderbeck. But um, but but Austria, but Austria still, Austria still have the ball. England need to react. England need to react and quickly, and uh, and uh, Mike says it was beautiful to see a massive round of applause when everyone, when everyone took, when everyone took, when, when the players took the knee, credit to everyone in the stadium and the fans' reaction to it was wonderful. And already we have Lauren Hemp on the ground. Lauren Hemp has been fouled by uh, by somebody I couldn't see who it was initially, but in fact it was Laura Weinreuter. Weinreuter. Who fouled Lauren Hemp, and uh, that's not what England and that's not what England wants at the start, at the start of a tournament like this. One of their star players fouled early on, but it's given the Lioness is a free kick, and uh, it'll either be Hemp or Kirby to uh, to take the free kick as a 
and uh, it's actually there's actually shades of pink as well as light blue and purple um, on the um, on the match ball. Uh, Zinsberger trying to direct operations from trying to direct the operations from the goal, but Hemp straight in there with the free kick was aiming for Alan White, but um, Zinsberger quick to catch, but Zinsberger quick to catch the ball. It would appear that Aust it would appear that Austria have now wised up to their. It would appear that Austria have now wised up to their defeat against England, and they're proving to be very resilient at the moment. Schneiderbeck passes back towards Zinsberger. Zinsberger now passes the ball out to. Uh, I think that was uh, to, to. I think that might have been uh, Weinreuter. Weinreuter now towards uh, Zadrazil. Zadrazil trying to cross the ball at the field, but it's been poorly given away to England. Mary Ups clears the ball um, out of goal. I think that was. I think it was passed to by Rachel Daly. Anyway, England still trying to keep hold of the ball, but Lauren Hemp almost try Lauren Hemp almost tries to get to it. Dispossessed by Austria, and it's now with Verena Hanshaw. But um, but England still but England but England holding their line really well. That they've been tested so they've been tested so far. Th they've been tested so far in the opening three minutes, and after three minutes, it's still England nil, Austria nil. And you're listening to the commentary hub with me, Nicholas Jones. A big buzz around the ground, so says Mike. And uh, and uh, Zinsberger now passing the ball out of uh, goal. It looks as though looks as though uh, there's been a bit of uh, uh, coordinated play between Austria. Could a shot call, with Austria playing as the way they are? Could a shot be on the cards in the opening game? But the ball has been poorly given away to England. It's now with Georgia Stanway. Stanway. Holding onto the ball, trying to cross toward was trying to cross towards Kirby in the goal area, but um, but uh, but uh, but the Austrian defenders did really well to uh, deflect the ball away and uh, very and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, so so a not a good start for uh, for England um, um, in in the opening game against Austria. Is the pre has the pressure of being the has the pressure of being the home nation started to get to them at this early stage of the game? Um, but uh, but Austria now back. The ball is now back in play, and it's and the ball still remains with Austria. Although England have quickly taken it off thanks to Kira Walsh, but given up, but it's been given away again to Zadrazil. England tackle the ball. They managed to get hold of it, but Austria have taken the ball back. It's Zadrazil now for Austria. There was almost an attempt at goal, but blocked. I think by Daly. And uh, looks and it, and it looked like and it looked like Nicole Beeler was going to um, uh, was going to uh, to take the ball off as well. So um, so um, haphazard uh, defending, I would say. So haphazard defending, I would say, by England. Although, but uh, but it's poorly. But it's now given away a corner to Austria, and it'll be Nick and it'll be Verena Hanshaw to uh, to take the corner. Um, in the fifth, in the fifth minute, so could a shock still be on the cards? But, but so the corner swiftly dealt with by England, and the ball is now with. Um, I think that was uh, Beth Mead. Yes, indeed, it was. But Paul, but uh, but uh, but Lauren Hunt just couldn't get to the ball in time, and it was, and it was dealt with very well by Barbara Dunst. Barbara Dunst um, could be a player to could be a player to look out for um, in. Could be a player to look out for for Austria, just like um, just like uh, Nicole Bieler and uh, Sarah Z and Sarah Zadrazil. England now have the England now regain control of the ball with Millie Bright passing to Lucy Bronze. Now back to Bright. Bright passes up passes up the wing to I think that was um, uh, uh, Beth Mead. Bright crossing the ball forward now towards Lauren Hemp, but Hemp just couldn't get to the ball. But Hemp just couldn't get to the ball in time, and uh, already it'll be a and it looks as though it'll be a goal kick given to Austria. Irina Irina Furman um, has been the coach of Austria since July twenty twenty, and uh, it'll be a and it'll be a kick and it'll be a position uh, kick to work where goal and uh, and uh, Mike has added that. Uh, that's uh, what could also be getting to England is the fact that they're so keen to impress and do well. But uh, it'll but uh, but a throw in has been given to England quickly taken by Kira Walsh. Walsh 
Passing to, I think that's Daly, who's now passed to a Millie Bright. Bright now. Or was it Williamson? I think it was Williamson. Bronze tries to, uh, to hold tried to hold on to the ball, but was uh, swiftly tackled by Freisinger for, for Austria. Laura Freisinger now with the ball for for Austria, but um but it was almost but was almost tackled from behind uh, by England and she's now given it to Nicole Beeler and Beeler's been and Beeler's been brought down by Beth Mead. And uh, the ref and and the referee Marta Huerta de Esa, uh, de Arthur is going to try and sort that is uh, going to try and sort things out. So, was it Beeler? Was it Hanshaw? No, it was Verena Hanshaw that was fat. It was Verena Hanshaw that was fouled. Um, I think she was shouting for. I think she was shouting. Uh, I think she was shouting for a car, but nothing given to England. As uh, Mary Earps now clears the ball out of goal. If England don't start, if England don't, if England don't put in an attacking performance as they as we know them for, then 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 they're going to go a goal behind. Um, then they're going to go a goal behind Austria as uh, Narshenveng crosses the ball. I think she was aiming for Nicole Bieler, but was uh, swiftly um, uh, put out by Millie Bright. Eight minutes in, England nil, Austria nil. And uh, this will be another throw, and it will be another throw in to Austria. England and Austria will face each other again um, uh, later th later this year um, for their second uh, uh, later this year for their second match in the Women's World Cup qualifying campaign. The, the Women's World Cup is will take place in Austria and New Zealand next year. So a poorly timed throw in, which has been which was affected out by England, to be taken again. By Austria, Hanshaw with the ball, she throws into the goal here, but but it was but the ball was headed out by uh, by what looked to be by what looked to be Williamson. Will it be third time lucky for Austria? It's now Nicole Bieler for Austria. She passes to Verena Hanshaw. Lucy Bronze tries to tackle the ball off Hanshaw, almost does so, but um, but uh, what she actually did was she forced Hanshaw into making a mistake by. Uh, by uh, by sending the ball out, and it will be bronze to take the throw in for England, which she does. Bronze throws to Georgia Stanway. Stanway passes the ball now towards. Um, I think that's Leah Williamson. Leah Williamson almost gives the ball away to Austria, but England now have the ball back. It's still it was it was Walsh. Now it's Kira Walsh to um, Lucy Bronze. Now Millie Bright again. Millie Bright. Passing now to, I think that's uh, Daly, and she's now found uh, uh, Jess Carter, uh, um, or should I say, it should I say uh, uh, Jess Carter? I think that was Carter, but Bright now crossing the ball forward to Lauren Hemp. Lauren Hemp needs to find Ellen White. She does, but the ball does not go into the goal because it was saved by Manuela Zietzberger. Zietzberger. That is more like that is more like the England we know. So, uh, so, uh, so a uh, good cross there by Hemp, but White was White was in the right place, but she was but she was blocked by the Austrian defenders. So Bright now passing to uh, I think that's Williamson. Now it's back towards Bright Williamson now uh, with the ball. She now passes to I think that's um, Rachel Daly. Yes, indeed, it is Daly. Daly, Daly, back towards Williamson. Now Millie Bright, Bright, Bright's just Bright goes over the centre line. She's now passed to a Lucy Bronze. Lucy Bronze needs to Lucy Bronze needs to cross to a player up front fast. She does so. Finds Georgia Stanway, but Stanway was tackled from behind by Sarah Puntigam. But so uh, it's been given that. But the ball's given back to England. England need to England need to get in front and fast. It's the ball now with Beth Mead. Can she make something of it? No. Deflected away by Austria, but England are now. But it looks to me as though England are now starting to uh, to pile on the pressure after being caught out at the start. And Lauren Hemp now tries to uh, try to uh, make a shot on goal, but the ball just went over the crossbar. And uh, Mike again is saying, see, and Mike is saying that England seem to be getting a bit more confidence and more control of the game now. I would have to agree. I would have to agree with him because uh, because Alan White just missed uh, the ball, 
um, that just missed the ball in that last attempt. We're now coming up to we're now just we're now coming up to twelve minutes. It's still England nil, Austria nil. Uh, um, nice and vain now with the ball, but given away to um, but given away to bronze. For a moment, it for for the first uh, five or so minutes, it looks as though Austria uh, would get in front and break and break their duck against England in the seven attempts that they've played each other. They haven't. They've they've never won. And only uh, and only scored one goal, conceding twenty two. Lauren Hemp now with the ball. Lauren Hemp now with the ball for England, trying to hold off Barbara Dunst, but failing to do so. She now passes to uh, Rachel Daly. Daly crosses down the wing to uh, Leah Williamson, and Williamson passes to Bright. Bright, what can she do? She finds Kira Walsh, who passes back now to uh, Rachel Daly. England are now starting to. Uh, uh, be on the defensive a bit, be on the defensive a bit, or are they trying to catch Austria out? Daly crossing uh, down the fit, crossing down wing to uh, Williamson. It looks as if Hemp was trying to, was going to get the ball off, but Austria were, but Austria were quick to intercept, and it's now, and it's now with, and the ball is now with Nicole Bieler. Bieler for Austria. What can she do? She's now passing to Verena Hanshaw. Hanshaw tries to cross into the goal area, but so deflected a what? But so, but defended very well by Bright, and the ball has now been caught by Mary Earp. Still, still England appear to still England appear to now have gained in confidence, and uh, and uh, and uh, some of my players too are to look out for for England are White, Stanway, Hemp, and. And Kirby, but also look out for the likes of uh, Ella Toon, Alessia Russo, Chloe Kelly, and Beth England, who are currently on the substitutes bench. Uh, Williamson now, Williamson now with the ball. She's passed to uh, White, who in turn finds Walsh. It's now gone back to Millie Bright. Millie Bright passing the ball now to Mary Ertz. 14 minutes. 14 minutes have gone. It's still England nil, Austria nil. And uh and uh, Daly now and Daly now passes to I think that was um or was it to uh, I think that was Walsh. Cross by Williamson, um, but uh but, but was intercepted by Austria. It's now Hanshaw. Hanshaw passing to Zadrazil, Zadrazil. Has now found uh, Barbara Dunst. Dunst tries to cross to Zadrazil, but headed away by Bright. Jill Scott catches the ball for England just before um, uh, Narsenvang does so, and uh, it's now Millie Bright once more for uh, for England. Kira Walsh passing uh, up the field to uh, Beth Mead. Beth Mead. Uh, she scored quite a few goals for uh, for England, and the ball has now found Georgia Stanway. Georgia Stanway, will she be the first to open the? Will she be the first to open the scoring for Euro twenty twenty two? The answer is no, as um, as Austria again hold their line um, inside the goal here, but it's given England a throw in. So um, so uh, so a throw in given to be taken by Bronze. Who throws to uh, who throws to Bright, and uh, it's now found uh, Williamson. Now back towards Bright. Bright um, passes back to Will passes back to Williamson. Williamson very effective um, as both a player for England and Arsenal. Uh, Victoria Schnaderbeck, her Arsenal teammates, um, captain for Austria. As uh, Lauren Hab Beth Mead, I should say, tries to go for goal. It just clipped off the crossbar. That's the closest anyone's come to scoring all game. Or has it gone in? In fact, it has! England take the lead! The first goal for the Women's Euro 2022. And it's the host nation that take the lead. The fans are in raptures. Are England now... Are England now on the are England now on the attack? It got it will go down as a Beth Mead goal. Beth Mead, nice touch of her foot. So I think it might have been. To, I think that I think it looked to me. It looked as me as though Vininger might have gotten the last touch um, of the ball. But I, I have a feeling it will go down as a Beth Mead goal. 
and uh, and I don't and I haven't and I haven't seen anything like that before. Um, in all the time I've been to, in all the time I've been on the commentary hub, uh, it was the momentum by me that sent the it was the momentum by me that sent the ball in, and Serena Wiegmann um, gets the and Serena Wiegmann punches the air, and Stanway just ran over to a Beth Mees and embrace her. That is lovely to see. Alan White getting in on the acts as well. Beth Mead shouting, come on, to the fans. And Austria now have to regroup and refocus if they are to... Austria now have to regroup and refocus if they are to... Um, if they are to get any further on this. But um, uh, the referees just wanted to make sure... Will it, poss will it possibly go to a VAR decision? I don't think it will do. Um, she's now having a chat with, uh, oh, and in fact, but, oh, and in fact, there's going to be a goal check. It's a VAR. It's going for a goal check. But, um, but, so, uh, but, so uh, we'll let you know what the eventual outcome will be. So straight, so straight away after the goal has been scored, it'll, it's gone down to VAR. And in fact, the decision has been made. The goal stands. The goal stands. So, um, um, so, so it didn't need just so, so it didn't need much, much of an in-depth review, did it? Just a quick check, and uh, that was it, really. But, um, but, uh, but it's but the score, but the score is now England one, Austria nil, and England have got to and England have got to start getting their momentum going. And uh, Beth Mead, um, and Beth Mead also another. And Beth Mead also another for Arsenal. She has been in scintillating form both in both both for, both in club and international football this season. As uh, Jill, as uh, Lucy Bronze, I should say, passes to uh, Millie Bright now to uh, now to uh, Leah Williamson. I for uh, for one for one wild moment, I thought um, I thought it was a um, uh, Veininger own goal, but um, but uh, but. Uh, but but uh, but uh, Mead will take it. So the ball is now with Zadrazil. Zadrazil passes to uh, Schnaderbeck. Schnaderbeck now passing to uh, Veininger. Veininger back towards um, uh, uh, Puntigam. Puntigam now finds uh, Schnaderbeck. Schnaderbeck now with the ball for Austria. Schnaderbeck tries to pass to uh, tried to pass to um, uh, Fr uh, Freisinger, but um, but uh, she but uh, Freisinger just uh, couldn't get to it in time. Bright passing, uh, bright passing now to a Mary Earps. Earps manages to clear the Earps manages to clear the ball out. She finds Alan White. Alan White passing the ball now to I think that was Daly, but it's been given away. But the ball has been given as a free kick. This is what and the goal line. To, and we're now having a look at a goal line technology. Uh, di, and uh, but that was just a simple check, really. The ball just went over the line. Um, by uh, it was. Um, um, the the last few inches of the ball just managed to clear the line, but um, but uh, but that but now that dispute but now that dispute is over. Um, Zinsper, uh, but but now that dispute is over. It's a throw into Austria to be taken by Verena Hanshaw. Hanshaw manages to throw the ball out, but uh, the ball has now been caught by Weininger. Weininger. Uh, passes to Manuela Zinsberger, also also a gunner, but she's now passed to a Schnaderbeck. Schnaderbeck to Hanshaw, now back towards Schnaderbeck. Schnaderbeck tries to cross to um, uh, Freisberger, uh, Freisinger, but was uh, deflected, but was uh, deflected by uh, by a bronze. Stanway tries to uh, get control of the ball, but Stanway in turn has fouled Dunst. Uh, nothing doing, says the referee. Um, Dunst quickly back up on her feet, though. As uh, Willie, as a uh, hemp, I should say, tries to uh, try to cross to uh, White, but an, but an Austrian player has gone down. I can't see who it is. It's uh, Vein, it's a uh, Weinreuter. Appears to be in some kind of pain. She's clutching her chest by the looks of it. Um, or is it a or is it a pain in the ribs? Um, it look um, definitely. Um, she's definitely. Uh, she was definitely tackled in like the upper part of her body. Um, did the ball just did the ball just clip her? I think it might well have done, uh, but um, but uh, but so play but so play can now resume and it's and a corner has been given 
to England to be taken by Beth Mead. Mead raises her hands to signal that she the signal that she is ready. She should she should I think um, try to do a corner kick to uh, Hemp or at least Bright or Daly. Leah Williamson might be one to Leah Williamson might be one to take chances as to as to should be Alan White. Mead kicks the ball into the goaler, headed by Bright and and Lucy Bronze. She's now found Lauren Hemp. Can Alan White get to it? The answer is no, because Zinsberger just picked it up um, at the very last moment. And uh, Zinsberger um, shouting um, at the uh, at the defence just to get into their positions. Uh, it was actually Hemp who tried to. It was actually Hemp who got the touch of the ball. Hanshaw towards uh, Dunst. And the ball has now gone to uh, Weininger. Weininger. Passes to Zinsberger, who in turn manages to clear the ball out of goal. And it will be a throw-in to England. I uh, would have expected England to be at least 2-0 up by now. But given how but given how strong Austria were at the start, but given how strong Austria were at the start of the game, um, that's but given how strong Austria were at the start of the game, um, it's They've done really well just to keep it. They've, they've, they, I think they've done really well just to keep the goal up one nil. Um, but um, but so bronze tries to uh, make tried to uh, to get the ball through, but it was deflected away by by an Austrian defender, which is only which was which resulted in an England throw, which was uh, quickly was just quickly taken away. But um, I think it will be another Os I think it will be another England throw. Yes, indeed, it is to be taken by Lucy Bronze. Twenty three and a half minutes in. England won Austria nil. The score remains. Bronze throws uh, the ball in towards the goal area. It was almost picked up by Ellen White. But uh, it's only gone out for another throw in again. This time it will be Bronze to, uh, to take the throw. And uh, Bronze gets ready to aim. She does. She throws to uh, Rachel Daly. Daly! Uh, couldn't hold on to the ball, or was it Stanway? No, it was Stanway who um, who had the ball deflected away by Narshenveng as Bronze throws to Millie Bright. Millie Bright of Chelsea. She passes now to uh, Leah Williamson. Williamson or Williamson now towards uh, Daly. Now back to uh, now, now back towards Williamson. Now Bright again. Millie Bright. Passes to, um, I think that's uh, Kira Walsh. Now back towards Bright. Bright crosses the ball forward towards Bronze, who in turn finds Beth Mead. Beth Mead now with the ball. She passes to, uh, to Lucy Bronze, um, who only just got into the goal area, but uh, was deflected away by... by uh, Nash and Veng. Lucy Bronze has now... Lucy Bronze has now... Lucy Bronze recently joined Barcelona, and uh, and uh, she is not the only uh, English player to be uh, not the only English player to uh, be playing overseas, as um, as uh, Georgia Stanway has as uh, Georgia Stanway recently joined Bayern Munich from Manchester City, and Rachel Daly plays for Houston Dash in the United States. Frank Kirby. Passing to Lauren Hemp and almost almost headed in by Alan White. Just wide off the just wide off the far post. So uh but uh, good ball control by Kirby, who passed to Hemp and White was very uh, and White was very unlucky for her header not to go. Um was very unlucky not for her header. Was very unlucky for her not to, um, and was very unlucky for her for her not to go the way she wanted. But uh, but England aren't giving up in looking for that second goal. Twenty six minutes gone. England one, Austria nil. The score remains, and it's a throw in to it's a throw in to Austria to be taken by uh, I think I think that was I think that was uh, Weininger Weininger. Uh, throws the ball and it's now with Nicole Bieler. Bieler towards Barbara Dunst. She passes to she passes to Schneiderbeck. Although Alan White has been although Alan White was hunting her was hunting her down, 
was now been given away to again to Austria. Dunst to um, I think that was um, uh, by uh, Dunst uh, Weinreuter, but England were quick to uh, but England were quick to intercept that one. And England have now and England have and England have regained and England now have uh, mo have had most possession of the ball, sixty percent to Austria's forty. They've caught that massively in terms of ball possession as it's Lauren Hemp now with the ball, but quickly tackled by. Uh, Quickly tackled by Weinreuter. Weinreuter passing to Dunst, who in turn passes back to uh, Weinreuter. Dunst, or should I say Zadrazil? Zadrazil uh, back towards Dunst. Uh, now it's with um, uh, Weininger. Weininger passing to uh, Dunst, but it's been caught by Weininger again. Weininger passes to Zinsberger, who in turn now passes back towards Schnaderbeck. And uh, and it might saying that was a big, that, that was a huge chance for Ellen, uh, for White's big miss. She's got to be scoring those. I would have to agree. She has got to be scoring those. I would have to agree. But Austria are looking to try and find a way back into this one. They need to as soon as possible if they are to stay in contention for this game. Uh, an attempt um, across, an, a, across towards somebody towards goal, but was quickly saved. I mean, uh, sent away, I should say, by Bright. It was... Uh, Hanshaw trying to cross to um, uh, Zadrazila by the looks of it, but um, but uh, but Bright was able to uh, to head this one away. Anyway, it's a corner to Austria to be taken by Barbara Dunst. As uh, the rest, as uh, as everyone gets into as everyone gets into uh, as everyone gets into their positions, um, will England be able? Will England be able to save this? Will England be able to save this Austria corner? Dunst raises her arm just to let, just a signal to the referee that she's ready. She kicks the ball towards goal, but England quickly, but England swiftly send this one away. I think Kirby had the last touch of the ball on that occasion, and it will be a and it looks as though it will be a throw in to Austria. As uh, fine as uh, fi as uh, fine Reuter gets ready to uh, to kick, to uh, to uh, to, uh, to throw the ball for uh, for for Austria, fine Reuter throws to uh, to Hemp Hemp. Now Hemp now has to, Hemp Hemp tried to uh, to get to regain control, but pull it, but gave it away to Austria. So it'll be another throw in. Uh, so it'll be another throw in to Austria. Irina Fer Irina Furman. Looks pretty pense, looking uh, looking pretty pensive, as um, and uh, and also and also don't forget you and also don't forget you can also and uh, and also don't forget I will be commentating on Norway against Northern Ireland tomorrow, uh, on um, on the commentary hub as well, and we're also on the commentary hub too. JB Sports, Storm FM, and the I mean and the commentary hub too, and also we're also live on our Twitch channel. So hello to every so uh, so hello to everyone that's listening on our Twitch channel and uh, as an indirect free kick has been awarded to England and we're now into the 30th minute it's still England 1 Austria 0 Leah Williamson try Leah Williamson crossing the ball forward to uh, Lauren Hemp Hemp now trying to find Alan White but um, or was it daily that, or was it daily that uh, tried, or was it daily that, or was it daily that cross forward to uh, to White? Uh, what uh, White? I think it might have been. No, it wasn't. It was Beth Mead, I should say. So Mead tried to cross to Ellen White, but I think she was. But was she pushed down by Snart by Schneiderbeck? It looked like she was, but uh, but nothing doing, says the referee, as uh, Zinsberger manages to manages to uh, send the ball out of goal, but she's given it away. To Georgia Stanway, and it's now, and the ball is now with uh, Ellen White. Ellen White passing to uh, Hemp, who has now found um, Bronze. Bronze now towards um, uh, Bright. Millie Bright still, Millie Bright still has control of the ball. She passes to uh, Hemp, and it's now with Bronze. Now back towards uh, this time Kira Walsh. Who has found Leah Williamson? It's and the ball is now with Frank Kirby. Frank Kirby almost almost dodged Sarah Zadrazil, but Zadrazil uh, was able to uh, to regain was able to regain possession. Um, Beth Mead trying to uh, to tackle the ball, but to no avail. 
Austria still have possession as Zinsberger passes to passes the ball to Weininger, but um, but so was but was almost tackled by uh, Ellen White, um, and that sent the ball out of play again. So that will be so that will be another throw in to Austria. Austria get ready to uh, to throw the ball. They're ready to throw the ball out, which they do. As uh, England, but it's been but it's been given away to uh, to England. The ball is now with um, uh, Leah Williamson. Williamson passing to um, Mary Earps, who in turn finds Bright. Bright back towards Earps. Earps crossing the ball out, uh, clearing the ball out of goal, I should say, towards Lucy Bronze. But uh, but the ball is now picked up by Georgia Stanway. Kira Walsh passing the ball now towards Frank Kirby. Kirby has found. Uh, Lauren Hemp, by the looks of it, no, uh, no, Beth Mead, Beth Mead, uh, tried to, Beth Mead had the, Beth Mead had the ball last, so it'll be a, so, so it'll be an, so it'll be an England, uh, throw in as, uh, as it, as, as Austria appeared to have uh, deflected the ball out, so throw in taken, so throw in taken by England, uh, Beth Mead passing to, um, um, Passing to Bright, it's now the ball is now with Walsh. We're about twelve minutes away from. We're about twelve minutes away from half time as uh, Williamson passes to Frank Kirby. Kirby back now towards Mead. Mead to uh, I think that was to I think that was uh, Williamson. Now uh, Millie Bright, right now with the right now with the ball crossing forward now towards Beth Mead. Beth Mead. Does a long range cross towards Lauren Hemp, but but the ball's been picked up by Manuela Zinsberger. Had Lauren Hemp just had Lauren Hemp reacted us a, a fraction of a second sooner, that would that will like that would likely have been England's second. Zinsberger now has the ball once now has the ball once more, but she's given it away to England. The ball is now with Kira Walsh. Walsh tries to find Alan White, but but intercepted by Austria. Austria now have the ball back. And it's now with Narshenvang. Narshenvang crossing to, I think that was uh, Nicole Beeler, but Millie Bright was able to, but Millie Bright was able to stop her in her tracks. Austria are still, Austria still, Austria still holding, Austria are still holding their ground. Um, are still holding their ground uh, despite being but despite being a goal down. Uh, 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 Hanshaw gives the gives the ball away to a uh, to England Stanway passing to uh, uh, Leah Williamson. The ball is now with uh, uh, Kira Walsh. Walsh now passes to um, uh, Leah Williamson. Now back towards Walsh. Bright. Now back to Williamson. Williamson or Williamson passing now to uh, Kira Walsh. Walsh has now found um, Georgia Stanway. Stanway passing up the field to uh, Jill Scott. Lauren Hemp now, but uh, but Hemp gives the ball back to Stanway. Stanway now passing back to Bright, who in turn finds uh, who in turn finds Daly, I think. But Daly has now crossed to walk back towards uh, Lucy Bronze. And the ball is now with Frank Kirby. Frank Kirby passes to Bronze. Now White. But uh, but so the ball has now been uh, uh, cleared out of goal, at least for now. Stanway tries to get the ball back into the goal. And uh, was aiming for Lauren Hemp. But Hemp, but, but Hemp's, but Hemp's kick just uh, couldn't, um, Hemp, Hemp's kick just couldn't send the ball in. Superb cross by superb cross by uh, Stanway, but um, it looks to me as though Dunst um, did well to block um, any advances by Hemp. Schneiderbeck passing to Hanshaw. Hanshaw has now found a Beeler. The ball is now with um, Freisinger. Freisinger. Uh, Freisinger uh, gives the ball away to uh, to England and. Uh, and uh, Irina Furman now um, now uh, gesturing with her hands to uh, to try and uh, 
uh, get uh, to uh, to, uh, to try and uh, um, uh, give up uh, to try and sort of spur Austria on. Bronze deals with the throw in headed by uh, I think that was uh, Williamson. A uh, ball has now been given, uh, or should I say, hand. Uh, it's now with uh, Barbara Dunst for um, for Austria towards um, uh, Weininger, but uh, England, for England are defending their line, but England are defending that one really well. We're now less than ten minutes. It's now less than ten minutes until half time, and uh, England and uh, the England supporters um, are still England supporters showing their appreciation for. Uh, sh showing their appreciation uh, f um, for their nation as uh, bronze uh, tries to uh, to hold on to the ball, but it's but it was given away to Austria. So Austrian, so Austria now have so Austria now have the ball back. It's now with Barbara Dunst who passes to Verena Hanshaw. Verena Hanshaw passes to Victoria Schnaderbeck. Schnaderbeck. Uh, who in turn passes to uh, Zinsberger. Zinsberger um, does well to clear the ball out of goal and tries to find uh, Leah Williamson, but um, but nothing doing in this. But nothing doing in this instance, and it'll be a, a throw in again to Austria. So. Um, so Austria get ready to take the throw, which they do. It's Bela now with the ball, but it's been given to. Uh, I think that was Dunst or or for fine Royce, I should say, quickly taken by Walsh, but um, but so the ball has gone out of play. But the ball is now out of play again, and it will be an England throw in this time. Looks like it will be. Looks like it will be a Millie Bright, um, or should I say, Rachel Daly throw? Daly throws the ball to uh, Mead. Now back towards Daly. The ball is now with M Ellen White's. Who in turn finds uh, Leah Williamson straight now back towards Erps, who clears the ball forward to um, uh, Lucy Bronze. But Austria tried to tackle it, but England still managed to hold on to the ball. And Lucy Bronze now pelting up the field, although she's got um, uh, Freisinger for company, and uh, Freisinger's persistence uh, will likely have paid off because she was able to, as a tackle, the ball. Um, a lot, and uh, Mike says that England seem a lot more comfortable and in control in the game after going one 0 up. I thought they were trying to attack more, but Mike could well be right as uh, Lauren Hemp tries to. As Lauren Hemp looked like she was about to uh, cross to a Samway or somebody, but since the ball is now with a uh, Millie Bright, who in turn passes to uh, uh, Leah Williamson. Williamson passes the ball back, passes the ball to Oz Mary Earps in goal. Bright now. Towards uh, Kira Walsh, Walsh has now Walsh now cross pass up the field to uh, up the wing, I should say, to uh, Daly. The ball is now with um, uh, Lauren Ham. I mean, uh, Beth Media in turn passes back towards Daly. The ball is now with uh, Williamson again. Five minutes to go until half time. It's England still England one, Austria nil, and you're listening to the commentary hub with me, Nicholas Jones. Anyway, here's anyway here's um, uh, Frank Kirby. Frank Kirby had the ball um, uh, just a moment or two ago, uh, but uh, she's now found Millie Bright. Bright, Bright, and uh, Bright, who in turn finds uh, Lauren Hemp. Hemp now tries to hold on to the ball, just about does it. Um, does well to hold off the advances of um, of the Austrian defence, but. Um, but uh, she couldn't. But she was unable to uh, to cross the ball in towards goal. And it looks like it. And it looks like it will be. And uh, it looks. And it looks like as though it will be um, an England. Uh, no, or should I say Austria uh, goal kick to be taken once more by Zinsberger. Austria. Austria still Austria still doing well Austria still doing well despite Austria still doing well despite the fact that they despite the fact that they have been unable to uh, so far equalize um, against England had a, they've had a couple of good chances themselves but as all but as ever England were on hand to but as ever England were on hand to prevent that 
I mean them. But so another throw into uh, Austria, and but so but England are quick. But England are quick to uh, attack. But England are quick to to, uh, to take the ball off them. It's now with um, Bronze who passes to Bright. Less than five. Less than five minutes to go. Less than less than five minutes to go now until half time. As the ball is now with uh, Zadrazil. Zadrazil passes to um, Dunst. Dunst tries to pass to Abila. She does so, but um, but uh, the ball is now going around. Um, ball is now going around Austria. It's now straight towards uh, uh, Freisinger. Freisinger passing to. Uh, I think that was. Um, I think that might have been. Uh, uh, Weinreuter, but um, and Austria and and Austria, or oh, and Austria came really close to a to to leveling against England. Uh, Weinreuter, uh, Freisinger passed to uh, Schnaderbeck, but um, but England did really well. But England did really well to defend that one, uh, which would have likely been a which would have likely been a goal by by Katarina Narschenweng. Bronze now with the ball. Bronze still has control of the ball, and the ball is now has now gone to uh, Lauren Hemp. It's now with uh, Rachel. Um, I mean Georgia Stanway. Stanway towards White. Now back to Lauren Hemp. Hemp. She's running up. Hemp is running up the field, crossing towards Ellen White in the goal area. But White missed misses the post by several by several yards. What a disappointment. Um, I'd have to I'd have to say that attempt on goal by White was somewhat disappointing, and uh, and um, and uh, and, um, and a missed attempt on tar- and a mi- and a missed attempt on target. She can't she can't be doing this throughout the she can't be doing this um, throughout the whole game. Surely, as uh, Bronze now now regains control of the ball, but um, Austria are still but Austria is still looking threatening, and in fact Austria. Have the ball now with Nicole Bila. Bila passes, passing now to uh, Zadrazil. Zadrazil um, passing towards uh, Dunst and Dunst tackled uh, by tackled by an England midfielder. I couldn't quite make out who it was. It might have been Stanway. Uh, the ball is now with uh, Daly, who passes to uh, uh, Kira Walsh. The ball has now found Lauren Hemp. Seven attempts on goal by England in comparison. To Austria's two. We're now entering the last few minutes. We're now entering the last minute or so of the first half. Or should that be the penultimate minute? Or should that be the penultimate minutes? As um, Beth Mead um, tries to regain, try, try to regain, try to regain possession, but uh, was unable to do so. And it will be a throw in to England to be taken by Rachel Daly. Daly. Gets ready to as uh, a throw to um to as uh, a who in turn finds uh, Kira Walsh Walsh now towards Georgia Stanway who in turn passes to uh, Bronze across by Bronze but um deflected away and uh, we're not and uh, um, and only one minute ha- and one minute has been added on um so this could be a chance for England to uh, to to grab a second um at the last minute but um. But Austria will, I'm sure, have a few things to say about that. As a schnot, as a as a Weininger, I should say. And the ball has now been given to Frank Kirby, who in time finds Lauren Hap. Lauren Hap tries to go for a goal, second goal, but just over the crossbar, just lobbed it over. Um, I just lobbed it over the goalkeeper. Hemp should be disappointed. That was should be disappointed. That looked like a superb effort, but um. But I, but I think it's but I think it just um but I think it just glanced off uh Zinsberger. indeed it did and uh fire and uh, and a fire singer um showing her appreciation but so uh, the ball has now but it's it's now a corner so so what, what looked to be a minute will go on longer uh, th- uh than expected so England will have to well England will have to take advantage of this last minute corner to um to uh to uh, to double their lead it's now with frank kirby kirby um crosses the ball into the goal area towards alan white and turn finds bronze but austria 
are still managing to keep the ball out. And in fact, there it in fact there goes the whistle for half time. A slow start by England, but they got but they but they came in but they came into their own as the game progressed. And Beth Mead and Beth Mead's opening goal could well have made all the difference. So could well have made the whole difference throughout this whole game. And the halftime score at Old Trafford in this opening match for the Women's Euro 2022 is England one, Austria nil, and we're going and uh, we're going to take a break. But we'll be but we'll be back before the start of the second half.
Welcome back to the Commentary Hub's coverage of the opening match of the Women's Euro, Euro, Euro 2022. And England lead Austria by a goal to nil. Slow starts for the Lionesses. Um, thanks to us, thanks to a superior performance by Austria, which caught them off guard. But England quickly, but England quickly regained control um, within the after ten or so minutes. So the second half is just about getting ready to start. It'll be England to kick us off, and away we go for the second, the start of the second half. England are playing from from right to left this time. Austria are playing left to right. And straight away, it looks like England are quickly in possession as Mary Earps passes ball back to uh, Millie Bright. Earps takes the ball again, who in turn finds uh, Leah Williamson. Now Beth Mead, it's, the ball is now with Frank Kirby. No half-time substitutions have been made for either side. And in fact, Kirby has gone down already. Uh, fouled by, I think it might have been uh, Laura Weinreuter. Uh, Laura Weinreuter. Um, I have a feeling it. I have a feeling it was. Yes, uh, just stamps. Yes, just stamps on her foot there. Um, Kirby clearly. Kirby sort of hopping and limping about. Um, this is not what. This is not what she needs. She had a. She had a spouse of uh, mental. Ha she had a spouse of. Um, she had a spouse of uh, mental health problems um, earlier in the year, so, and uh, has only and has uh, and has uh, and has only been on the pitch for and has only been on the pitch um, since and has only been on the pitch for a while now. So, um, so um, she really needs so, so she really needs to uh, to have a good game uh, tonight. As uh, Mary Earps now picks up the ball, uh, takes for the ball again, I should say, for for England. She passes to uh, to Millie Bright, and time passes back to Walsh. It's now back with Bright. Now straight towards Lucy Bronze, who's looking for Georgia Stanway, and Stanway just gets the ball, but Bronze, uh, but, but but she she only passes back to Bronze, and that's a throw in to um, Austria. And it'll be and and once again it's a throw in to Aus and once again it's a throw in to Austria. And it'll be uh, but England have but England have uh, regained control as um, as uh, Kira Walsh now passes to uh, Georgia Stanway. Georgia Stanway uh, collides has collided with. Um, uh, Victoria Schnarrbeck and Austria have now taken the ball back. Could there be a chance for an Austrian equaliser? No. Um, an, an effort on goal by uh, by Nicole Bieler. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, Stanway just it was actually Puntigan, Puntigan who collided with uh, Stanway. And. Uh, and uh, not a very good, and uh, so, so uh, not a good opportunity for uh, for for Stanway to go down like that. And uh, and a corner has been given to Austria. Can they equalise from there? The answer is no. As uh, Lauren Hemp regains control for uh, for England, but uh, the but it only results in a throw in to only results in a throw in to Austria. And. Uh, and I just had to uh, quickly correct a couple of things. Uh, apologies if I missed out. Um, throwing given to Austria, who who uh, who regain control, but so England are quick. But England are quick to take back uh, possession of the ball. Alan White just had the ball, just ahead of the ball momentarily for England. The ball is now with uh, Dunst for Austria. Dunst um, does well to uh, to hold off the advances. Um, of Rachel Daly, but uh, she only made, but she only passes the ball out of, of play, and it's a throw into uh, Austria. I think England might have gotten the last touch on that one actually. And Daly this time clear definitely gets uh, the last touch of the ball. So once again, it's another throw into Austria. The the third for them in as little as under thirty seconds, as um, as uh, as Andrazil 
uh, tries to uh, to get the ball to, um, I think that was uh, Nash and Bang, but England were quick to uh, to deal with that one. England now have England now have control of the ball again. It's now Frank Kirby for England, or was it? But uh, she only manages, but she only managed to uh, give the ball away to Austria. Kirby was one of the standout players for England during the uh, uh, World Cup in Canada in 2015. As now Lauren Hemp has the ball for uh, for England, who try, she tries to pass to a Kirby, but Austria were quick to uh, to put a stop to that and. Uh, Daly tried to tackle the ball off Dunst, but um, but nothing doing so far. Just less than f we're now five minutes into the second half. It's still England one, Austria nil. As um, and some other throwing given to England. Daly to Daly to take the throw as um, she passed around to Frank Kirby, and the ball is now with uh, Lauren Hemp. Hemp tries to uh, find Daly. Daly. Almost has the ball back. It's now with Fran Kirby. Kirby just outside the goal area. She passes back to uh, Daly, who in turn finds the captain, Leah Williamson. Williamson now towards Bright. Bright passes to, I think that was um, Stanway, but it's now with uh, Walsh. It's now, and the ball is now found. Daly wants more. Daly to, uh, Daly to uh, Walsh. Now back to uh, uh, Williamson. Stanway, I mean Walsh, I should say, back towards Daly. Now Williamson, this time finds Millie Bright. Bright tries to cross. Bright crossing towards Lauren Hemp, but but Kirby now has the ball. Kirby goes for a long range shot, saved by Zinsberger. And and that's a and uh, and that was a and that was a well time save. That was a well time save by by uh, by the Austrian number one. And uh, the ball is now, the ball is now still with uh, Austria. It's now with um, Narschenvang, Narschenvang to uh, to a Sharm to a Hanshaw, but England are quick to uh, England are quick to to, uh, to intercept the ball. But Austria have now taken the ball back. Weinreuter gives the ball away to uh, uh, Beth Mead, who in turn finds uh, Rachel Daly. It's now Lauren Hemp, Hemp now with Hemp now with the ball, but tackled from behind. By uh, Laura Weinreuter. Weinreuter. Uh, no card given to her. Daly passing now to uh, uh, Millie Bright, who in turn finds um, Lucy Bronze. Now back towards Bright, who in turn finds uh, Leah Williamson. Williamson now passing the ball to uh, Kira Walsh. Across by Walsh towards uh, Beth Mead. Beth Mead now passes to uh, Lauren Hemp, who in turn tries to find uh, Alan White, but um, White just couldn't get the ball in. Our England lining up for a second try. Kira Walsh crossing the ball towards Alan White. This time the ball goes towards Lauren Hemp, but Austria do really well to hold off hold off this attack. And now it's Millie Bro and now it's and now it's with Bright who passes to Lucy Bronze. Bronze just outside. Bronze is just outside the goal area. Tries to cross in towards goal, but the ball just clips the side netting. And Lucy Bronze clearly not happy about this. Was her was her ang was was her angle a bit off? I think her angle was in I think her angle was in fact a bit off. But uh, Hanshaw might have actually gotten a Hanshaw might have actually gotten a foot to it. So after just over 53 minutes, it's still England 1, Austria 0. And you're listening to the Commentary Hub with me, Nicholas Jones. We're also live on the Commentary Hub too, uh, Storm FM, JB Sports, and we're also on our Twitch. And speaking, and uh, and, uh, it, and, it's now, and it's, the ball is now with Austria, who in turn deflects it out. Who in turn deflects it out for another throw. So it'll be Weinreuter to uh, to take the throw. Um, so she gets ready, um, looks for someone to throw it to. She finds, um, I think, uh, Schneiderbeck, but uh, was almost dispossessed by England. But Austria still manage. But Austria still managing to hold on to the ball. Uh, she's now found uh, uh, Freisinger. Freisinger gives the ball away though to. Um, to uh, Beth Mead. It's now with uh, Lucy Bronze. 
Bronze passes to Bronze passes to Bright. Bright tries to uh, uh, try to uh, to cross to. I think that was um, uh, Beth Mead, but the ball is now out of play. It's now gone. It's now an Austria throw. Throw into throw into Austria. After just uh, after ne after nearly ten minutes, England appeared. To, after nearly ten minutes, uh, England or England are almost. England, England almost appears to be getting back into England. Almost appears to be gaining back full control. But Austria, um, will, but Austria having a few things to say about this as uh, Frank Kirby tries to cross to uh, uh, Lauren Hemp. Almost does so, but Weinreuter. I thought Weinreuter was going to get to the ball, but Hemp just uh, had a quick touch to it. But Weinreuter now has the ball for uh, for uh, for Austria. Weinreuter now. Weinreuter passing back to uh, Weiningo who in turn finds uh, uh, Schnaderbeck. It's now with Barbara Dunst. Dunst trying to cross to uh, Nicole Bieler, but the ball has been intercepted by Lucy Bronze. No word as of yet. As, no word as of yet when there will be any heart, when there will be any uh, substitutions from either England or Austria. I'm hope. I'm betting it will. I'm betting Ella Toon. Um, or Alessia Russo will likely to come on. Are likely to come on. In fact, an Austrian player looks like um, she might be getting ready to us to come on. It looks to me as though it'll be. It looks like uh, Julia uh, Hickelsberger Fuller uh, will be uh, 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 will be coming on as a throwing quickly taken by Austria. It's now with uh, Bila Bila towards. I think that's. Um, uh, uh, I think that was towards uh, Freisinger, but uh, uh, that might have been an attempt on goal by uh, Freisinger. Or was it Narschenvang? Narschenvang uh, had a touch of the ball with her left foot, but I think Bronze might have deflected it. I think Bronze might have deflected it away from her. Anyway, so a goal kick to be taken swiftly away by uh, Mary Earps. But uh, but it was headed away. But the ball was headed out of play by Hanshaw, and so it will be another. And so it will be another England throw in. Bright now with the ball. She passes to uh, what looks to be Rachel Daly. No, no, Williamson. Then Daly. Daly crossing the ball forward to. Uh, Frank Kirby. Kirby tries to uh, Kirby tries to gain control, but but she pushes um, Kat Karina Weininger out of the way um, uh, over the line and uh, on almost took control of the ball. Uh, that looked to be that looked unintentional to me. But um, and uh, Hickel and uh, Hickelsberger Hickelsberger getting ready to uh, come onto the field by the looks of it as. Um, as a play still going on around uh, the Austria goal area, as um, as a bronze now as bronze poorly gives the ball away to Austria, but um, but England now regain control. It's now with Leah Williamson. Williamson towards Daly. Daly passing at this time to Kira Walsh across by Walsh, aiming for Lauren Hemp. Lauren Hemp has the ball just outside the goal and she passes to Georgia Stanway. Stanway goes around the defenders, but the ball just misses the near post. Stanway should have Stanway should have aimed for some Stanway should have gone for another angle, in my view. So um but uh, but Austria about to make a substitution as uh, as Katarina Narschenveng comes on, comes off, I should say. And uh, and on comes Hickels, and on comes Julia Hickelsberger Fuller. Hickelsberger Fuller, a regular at Hoffenheim in the Frauen Bundesliga. But um, but so the but so the scoreline still remains after almost fifty nine minutes. England one, Austria nil. Austria still Austria have been, Austria have shown. Austria has shown signs of brilliance, uh, but but not this time, as uh, Freisinger has uh, has uh, collided with. I think that was Lauren Hemp, or was it uh, Rachel Daly? No, it was Rachel Daly, as and um, uh, she she just ran into she just ran into her by the looks of it, 
Uh, pretty clumsy in my view. Uh, nothing intentional as um, as uh, two England substitutions are about to, um, uh, could well be made. Chloe Kelly and Ella Toon could well be coming on by the looks of it. I think I just saw Alessia Russo in the background as well. She might come on at a later period as, um, as uh, Hanshaw now has the ball for Austria, but given away towards Millie Bright, and it's now with Georgia Stanway, who in turn passes to Walsh. Walsh now towards Millie Bright, uh, Leah Williamson, I should say. Millie Bright now with the ball. She passes to Georgia Stanway. Stanway has found Lucy Bronze. Bronze tries to hold off um, Freisinger, but uh, she manages to pass to her to Beth Mead. Good teamwork. But good teamwork by England. Daly now with... Daly now with the ball who pass and passes to Hemp. Uh, with, but the Manchester City forward tries to hold on to the ball, but can't. She's tackled from behind by a fine Roy. So very disappointed. Um I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, look at disappointment in her face as Daly gets ready to uh, to take the throw in for England. She throws to Kirby. Kirby holding up, tries to hold off um the attack by Austria, fails to do so, and it's Nicole Beeler. For her for Austria, but she's managed to pass to a Hickelsberger Fuller. I think the ball just went over the. I think the ball just went over the line, and that will result in an England throw. And and yes, I was right. It was Alessia Russo who might be who might be getting raised to it to make a substitution. So England could be get, so England could make three substitutions um, throughout throughout the second half. Kira Walsh crosses the ball forward to um, Lucy Bronze. Bronze now towards Georgia Stanway, who in turn passes to Millie Bright. Lucy Bronze passes now down the down wing, I should say, to uh, Leah Williamson, who in turn finds Frank Kirby. Kirby passes back towards Daly, pass, passes to Daly. Bright now has the ball again. Bright crossing towards the goal and almost caught by Frank Kirby, but uh, nothing, but nothing doing on that occasion. So a throw in to Austria to be taken by um, Laura Weinreuter. Laura Weinreuter uh, tries to find uh, Bieler, but given away to Leah Williamson. Williamson passing it to Stanway, who in turn finds uh, Bright. She passes down the wing to Williamson, and the ball is now with uh, Walsh, but uh, Austria almost uh, intercepted that one. But England are still in control. Walsh now towards uh, Bright, who in turn finds Bronze. Bronze passes back to Stanway, now with Bronze again. Walsh. Again, Walsh passes to, to Millie Bright, and the ball is now with... Uh, uh, Leah Williamson, who finds Rachel Daly, or should I say Lauren Hemp? Hemp now towards Daly, and tackled from and tackled by uh, Sarah, Zad, Sarah Zadrazil. And uh, substitution is about to be made for England as Frank Kirby uh, comes off in play, and in her place will be Ella Toon. Ella Toon, one of the uh, star players. Um, in my view, in recent times for England, scored in the so scored in the women's quali uh, scored in the women's World Cup qualifying uh, campaign, scored in the Arnold Clark Cup, and also um, and also I believe scored in one of the and also I believe was a scorer in uh, the recent friendlies that England have been playing. So will another substitution for England about to be made? I think Chloe Kelly has come onto the pitch as well. She has. In place of the earlier goal scorer Beth Mead and Alessia Russo um, has come onto the pitch as well in place of Alan White. And straight in there is is Chloe is Alessia Russo who tries to find Chloe Kelly. I think she has Kelly. Uh, Kelly now has the ball for England. Kelly tries to cross to uh, Lauren Hemp. Just about does it. But it's now with Rachel Daly. Daly passing to Lauren Hemp. But inter but uh, but uh, the ball has now gone back towards Austria. Will having those three will having those three fresh substitutes uh, give England more? Will having these uh, will having these substitutes give England more more of a more of a chance to attack? 
we shall we shall have to see we shall have to see about that one as we shall have to see on that one as uh, as we're now just uh, as we're now just coming up as we're now just sixty four and a half minutes in it still remains England one Austria nil as uh, Freisinger uh, cr crosses to uh, uh, Hanshaw. But uh, well tackled by but so tackled by uh, England, and the ball is now with Aless and the ball is now with um, Alessia Russo by the looks of it, um, or, sh or or was that Alatu? No, it was Alatu. Um, Russo and Kelly, they've been re also, Russo and Kelly, they've been good for England. They've been really good for England recently, as uh, Beth Mead uh, now takes her place. Um, among the subs bench, I think Nikita Paris, uh, receiving acknowledgement uh, from her as well, takes a place among um, Ellen White and Fran Kirby. As uh, Williamson passes to um, uh, uh, Millie Bright. Uh, now it's back with Bright, who in turn passes back towards Daly. Daly now finds Walsh, who in turn passes to Ella Toon. Ella Toon now with the ball for England. It's gone back towards Walsh. She crosses forward and finds Lauren Hemp. Hemp just manages to get to the ball. She's trying to hold off uh, Vininger, but Vininger just clips her and sends the ball out of play. So will that? So will that be a? So will that be a corner for England? It looks like it. It looks like it very much will be, and it will be Chloe Kelly who will take, and it will be Chloe Kelly who will take the corner kick for England. Chloe Kelly, uh, recently Chloe Kelly recently returned to international duty after a long, after a, after a long, after a long spell of injury shows after a long spell of injury. She's been away a long time, but it's been, but it's great to see her back um, in international competition. Ella Toon tries to cross the ball in towards, um, Alessia Russo, I think she found Russo, but it's now back with Kelly. Kelly towards uh, Russo, but uh, Austria do very well. But Austria do really well to uh, to keep that uh, to keep that ball out of play. It's now with Millie Bright towards Kira Walsh. Walsh passes back to Mary Ertz in goal. Williamson now with the ball for England. She crosses the ball. She crosses the ball now and has found Chloe Kelly. Kelly almost gives the ball away to Weinreuter, but um, she manages to. Uh, to but uh, Weinreuter deflects that one out. So, it, so it will like. So it will likely be another corner for England. Serena Wiegmann, uh in conversation with Arjen uh, Vironal, the uh, assistant manager. As uh, Kelly raises her arms to uh, to signal that she is ready to uh, to take the corner, she kicks the ball in towards in toward, into the goal area, but um, but it doesn't result it, but it doesn't result in anything for England. Daly passing to um, Stanway and Stanway crossing the ball, but saved by Zinsberger. Zinsberger has been on form for Austria. Um, so she could so she could well be in contention for tonight's player of the match as uh, as uh, Vininger uh, passes the ball around to I think that was um, uh, Dunst that we shall uh, see as uh, as a uh, Williamson now has the ball again for England Williamson passing to uh, Erps. Erps has now found uh, Kira Walsh uh, once more. And uh, she's now passed to Ella Toon. Toon, pa Toon passing to Lauren Hemp. Hemp has been really good at setting up opportunities. But she, it looks as though she was trying to go for one herself. And it just sailed over the crossbar. Or should I say arced. Hemp looked like... Hemp looked... Hemp should have uh, possibly got. Hemp should have possibly gone for a tighter angle. I think her angle was too. I think. I think her angle was a bit too loose, which is why it went wide. Um. Anyway, uh, Sadrazil for uh, for Austria now. She passes to Weinreuter, who in turn she passes to uh, Schneiderbeck, the captain. And it's now with um. 
uh, Hickelsberger Fuller. Uh, 377 passes completed for England. Austria have only had Austria have only got 180. So England, uh, possession wise and passes and attempts on goal, they're well and truly dominating this game now. Whether they'll win it. Whether they'll add whether they'll add to any more goals or not, I don't know. But as Mike said earlier on, in, as Mike mentioned earlier on in the first half, um, they seem pretty confident to uh, to hold on to just a one goal lead. But um, but only time will tell. As uh, Stanway passes the ball now to uh, Rachel Daly, who in turn finds a hemp tackled by Weinreuter. And uh, play has been and uh, play has been uh, halted momentarily. I think that might have been uh, the tackle by Weinreuter uh, on Hemp. She's been roughed up a bit throughout this game, hasn't she? And uh, but it's but it's a what? But it's given England a free kick. Can England take advantage um, of the free kick and make it a double? Uh, they were unable to do so earlier on. They were unable to do so early on, earlier on in the game, but with tw but with just under twenty, but with just under twenty minutes to go, this could well be another opportunity for England to uh, to uh, to take advantage of that free kick and straight into the goal area after that free kick by uh, I think that was Hemp, but um, but saved just at the but saved just at the last moments by Zinsberger. Kelly tried to sell them a dummy and a uh, Russo. Um, was and it was in fact Russo who was closest to the ball, but um, but uh, Puntigam uh, was able to, but Puntigam was able to tackle that one. Anyway, the ball has now found uh, Sarah Zadrazil, um, who in turn sends the ball out, who in turn sends the ball out of play. So it will be another Austria throw, and uh, it will be. It'll be another Austria throw uh, taken by Weinreusser, which she has. And uh, the ball is now with uh, Freisinger. Freisinger um, tried to hold on but couldn't, uh, which was, and the ball is deflected away by England. So it'll be another Austria throw to be taken by Weinreusser. Weinreusser, uh, throws, Weinreusser throws the ball, but given away again, but uh, it's deflected out by uh, by Lauren Hemp, I think. Anyway, uh, throw and taken again by Austria. But England. Have managed to uh, to take back control of the ball, not for long though, as as uh, as the ball was so uh, quickly deflected away. So it will be another Austria throw. Weinreuter throws towards. Um, I think that was uh, Zadra Zionites back to Weinreuter. Weinreuter crosses towards the goal area, but um, but just couldn't get to anyone inside there. Uh, Verena Hanshaw now has the ball. She's passed to uh, Laura, Fre Laura Freisinger. Freisinger now passes to, um, I think that was um, uh, Veininger. Veininger now finds uh, Ella to, uh, gives the ball away, I should say, to Ella Toon. And England tried to, uh, tried to take advantage of this, but can't as Dunst passes to uh, Zinsberger. Who is now found uh, Weininger? Weininger this time towards uh, Zadrazil. Zinsberger uh, uh, now, now, now back to uh, Weininger. Weininger uh, now with the ball. She crosses the ball this time to um, Nicole Bieler. But, uh, but again, the ball has been given away to uh, Weinreuter. And uh, Austria still and Austria still doing really well to hold on to the ball, but uh, Bright tries to tackle, but uh, to no avail. As uh, Hickelsberger Fuller has uh, gone down, as uh, as a Hickelsberger Fuller has gone down, or was it Daly who tackled her? Yes, indeed. It, yes, it was Rachel Daly who tackled. Um, that didn't look that didn't look like that didn't look very malicious in my view. It looked very um, uh, unintentional. But it's given a free kick to Austria. And it will be uh Verena Hanshaw who will who will take the free kick. Which she does, but the ball has been uh, cleared away by England, at least for now. Russo tries to uh, 
uh, get the ball out of the goal area, and uh, she does so. But that will only result in a goal, kind of a throw-in, I should say, to Austria to be taken by Verena Hanshaw. Hanshaw throws to Zadrazil, but uh, but that's given the ball out again for another throw-in as a as a as a jaw as a jaw as a as a jaw as a jaw as a as a jaw gear as a georgie ava uh gets ready to uh, to come on as a substitute by the looks of it so with a, so with 15 minutes to go it still remains england one austria nil i was a, i would have expected at least a couple of more goals by england so uh, so I would expected a couple of more goals by England, but uh, but Austria, but Austria are starting to show that they are. But, but Austria have been showing that they are a side not to be underestimated in terms of defence. Even if, even though they did, even though they did make the semi-finals at the last Women's Euros in 2017, the ball is now with um, uh, Kiro Georgia Stanway, I think, by the looks of it. But so uh, given away to Austria. Now it's back. Now it's with Lucy Bronze. Kira Walsh crossing the ball this time, I think, to um, uh, Chloe Kelly. Chloe Kelly now has the Chloe Kelly now has the ball, or is it Alessia Russo? Uh, Claire, Kelly tries to go for goal, but can't. The ball just goes wide. I had a fear. She, it looked like she. It looked like she was going to take the ball on. Should have passed to Alessia Russo in my. Should have passed to Alessia Russo, in my opinion. That way, England would have. That way, England would have had more of a chance at getting their at getting that at getting their second goal. So Schneiderbeck uh, comes off the pitch, and on come and on comes uh, Marina Georgieva. So a uh, goal kick to be taken this time by Austria and. Uh, and I could just about, and I just about found, and I could just about see that uh, Karina Weininger is now wearing the captain's armband. So less than fifty minutes to go. You're listening to the commentary hub with me, Nicholas Jones. We're also on the commentary hub too, JB Sports Storm FM, and we're also on our Twitch, and we're also live on our Twitch channel as well. Austria, England now. England now have gained. England now are back in control, but the but it's been given. The ball's been given away to Austria once more. England try to. England try to take the ball back, which they almost succeed in doing. But Freisinger has the ball for Austria, but in turn has passed to uh, Sarah Zadrazil. Zadrazil tries to go for a long range shot. A goal set, palmed away by Marriott. A very close. A very close finish by Austria. It was Barbara Dunst that was going. It was actually Barbara Dunst that was going for goal, but Earps, very sharp reflexes, just palmed the ball away. Nice save by the Manchester. Nice save by the Manchester by the by the Manchester United keeper, but it's only given a corner to Austria, and as it stands. They are at, they are level at four apiece with England. Austria need to take advantage um, of this corner to equalise with England, but they cut, but they fail to do so. As um, as uh, Bila gives the ball, has given the ball away, unfortunately for them to England, and the ball is now with uh, um, uh, Sarah Puntigam. Puntigam. Towards Bila, and uh, it's now, and the ball is now with Walsh. Walsh tries to find, Walsh tried to find Alessia Russo, but was, uh, but the ball uh, was intercepted by Austria. Zinsberger passes to uh, Weininger. Weininger passing now to, um, I think that's, uh, I think that's um, uh, Georgie Ava, uh, but. Um, but England are still. But England still are trying to hold on. I think a uh, player has been stopped for something that which might have involved Alessia Russo that I did not see. 
but uh, will it? But uh, it's uh, but it's only given a free an indirect free kick to Austria, and Austria now need to take advantage of this. But uh, Lucy Bronze tries to tack tries to tackle the ball off um, uh, Barbara Dunst. So with uh, so with just on so with just under ten so with uh, so, so with almost ten minutes to go, it's still England one, Austria nil. Bronze gets ready to throw. Bronze gets ready to take the throw in, which she does. She throws, but um, well, the ball was just glanced off a couple of balls just glanced off an Austrian uh, an Austrian player's head ahead. So it'll be another throw in to England. Bronze to take the throw, which she does. She throws to Alessia Russo, but Russo just misses um, a chance to take advantage and the ball goes out of play. It's another throw, and it's a throw into Austria. Ten minutes to go now at Old Trafford. And the ball has was almost picked up by uh, um, Zadrazil. And it's now with Nicole Bieler for Austria. England do really well to halt that attack. Um, by by Austria and uh, Austria still looking to uh, to try and break through England's uh, defence. England, in, like I say, England started off rather shakily, but they managed to get themselves um, into their stride. And so uh, the ball has gone out of play uh, once more. Um, bit of scrappy defend, bit of scrappy defending by England as they tried to uh, to hold off as, as they tried to hold off this uh, this attempt on goal by Bieler, but succeeded eventually. Walsh now with the ball for uh, for England, but given away to, but given away to George Yeva, who in turn who in turn passes to uh, I think that was a Puntigan. Uh, but uh, but it's been given away. But it's been given away to England. It's now with uh, Lauren Hepp. She goes for it. She tries to go for the second goal, but uh, just but the ball's just been caught by Manuela Zinsberger. Just under ten. Just under ten minutes. Just under ten minutes left now as Zinsberger gets ready to uh, uh, clear the ball out of goal. It's now with uh, Weininger. Weininger. Beininger as well to it across the ball forwards and has found um, uh, Freisinger. Freisinger passing now to Dunst. I'm surprised Austria have only made. Uh, I'm surprised Austria have only made one substitute. I think I have a feeling. I I think they should have at least done one more. England have failed so far to take advantage with those three with those three extra substitutions. And uh, Irene and uh, Irene Furman perhaps knows, and Irene Furman perhaps knows that uh, Austria will lose their first game um, in um, in in the women's Euro in the women in, in this year's women's Euros. Don't forget they still don't forget they still have um, Northern Ireland and Norway to face, um, as do England. Kuntigam. Passing the ball now to, uh, I think that was uh, Dunst. Dunst passing now to, but uh, gives the ball away, I should say, to Millie Bright. Bright now passing to uh, Rachel Daly. Daly back. To Daly now to uh, Daly now to uh, uh, Williamson. Uh, this time now towards uh, Kira Walsh. Now back towards Rachel Daly. Daly passing now to uh, 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 Williamson, I should say, passing to a uh, Daly. Da but it's now big, but, but so Chloe Kelly almost uh, uh, caught control of the ball, and the ball is now and the ball is now with Ella Toon. Ella Toon passes to Chloe Kelly. Kelly tries to hold on to the ball, but uh, but tackled by uh, Laura. But, but tackled by uh, Laura Weinreuter. For me, it's difficult. For me, it's difficult to say who my. For, but for me, it's very difficult to say who my player of the match uh, in this game should be. Um, uh, it's kind of a toss up between. It's kind of a toss up between Beth Mead and uh, one or two other players. But uh, Alessia Russo might change my mind. 
uh, but uh, but uh, but her attempt was blocked by uh, Verena Hanshaw. A couple of Austrian players have really stood out for me as well, such as Hanshaw and Weinreuter. But so in terms, but so in terms of teamwork, but in, in terms of teamwork and setting up and setting up chances, even though they didn't work, I would have to give. I would have to say Lauren Hemp is a strong contender. And speaking of Lauren Hemp, she's about to take the fifth corner um, of the game for England. Hemp places the ball onto Hemp places the ball inside the corner. The assistant referee checks to make sure checks to make sure that everybody is in checks to make sure that everybody is in the correct position. Lauren Hemp signals that she is ready. She she passes. To Ella Toon. Ella Toon uh, almost loses control of the ball, but just holds on to it. Uh, she should have crossed that ball in sooner when she got the chance. She does so now. But um, but the ball has been picked up by uh, Manuela Zinsberger. Russo uh, just couldn't get hold of it. And uh, and tonight's attendance at Old Trafford, um, according to Russ, is 68,871. As it uh, looks like another Austria substitution substitute is about to come on. Maria, uh, Maria, uh, Maria, ha, Maria, ha, Maria, ha, Maria Hubinger, uh, by the looks of it, is go it looks like it's going to come on. And uh, I can just about see that an Austrian player has indeed gone to ground. It is uh, Laura Heisinger. She's moving about, though, which is good. Um Anyway, she's up on her feet. I think she was clutching at her chest. Some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, some kind of blow to her chest. There, it was. Um, it was done by uh, Ella Toon. Uh, by the looks of, I think, I think she just slapped her in the chest or something. But, um, but, uh, but she's walking okay. And anyway, and anyway, Freisinger will be um, off. And on comes, and on comes Maria Hobinger. Hobinger now for uh, for Austria. Or is it uh, Puntigan? Puntigan passing. To uh, Zadrazil, Zadrazil now passing it to Dunst. It's the ball is now found at uh, Rachel Daly. Georgia Stanway now with the ball, who in turn gives it away to uh, to a Hobinger. Hobinger straight now towards uh, right now towards um, uh, Freisinger, or but uh, but saved, or should that be Weinreuter? It was Weinreuter, but uh, it's a caught just at the last moments by Mary Earps. Three minutes to go now. Uh, in the commentary hub. No, in fact, it was neither of them. It was uh, Hickelsberger Fuller who uh, who were uh, trying to go for a goal, which was saved by Erps. But because of that, uh, anyway, because of that wonder goal uh, that she scored um, um, in the first half, I'm going to give. I'm going to say that uh, our play, that my player of the match, is sponsored by commentary services, is Beth Mead. Um, who would your player? Who would your player? Who would your player of the match have been? Let me know. Who would your player of the match been? Let me know in the comments section, please. As Rousseau, um, as Toon, I should say, passes to Rousseau, Alessia Rousseau. Uh, now, uh, Alessia Rousseau now with the ball for England. She passes to Lucy Bronze. Bronze finds Kira Walsh. Um, Walsh passes back towards Bronze. Now it's with Rousseau. Now, uh, George Kira Walsh. Walsh now passing to uh, Leah Williamson, who in turn finds uh, Rachel Daly. Rachel Daly now sprinting up the pitch. She passes to Ella Toon. Ella Toon has found Chloe Kelly, but uh, but uh, well but uh, but well halted by Karina Vining by by Karina Vininger. And uh, Serena Wiegmann is sense and uh, Serena Wiegmann perhaps sensing that victory um, is very much. Is very much England. Ball cleared out of ball cleared out of goal by uh, by uh, Manuela Zinsberger. Since and it's, and the ball is now headed towards um, uh, Hickelsberger Fuller, but England are, but England are quick to to take the ball back. Stand way towards Ella Toon, Toon passing to Bronze, who passes back towards Toon. And soon now finds uh, um, Lauren Hemp, or should that be Alessia Russo? It was Alessia Russo, 
uh, stand way towards uh, uh, Walsh. Now um, Lucy Bronze. And it's now with um, uh, Alessia Russo. And the ball is now with uh, Georgia Stanway. Back now towards Leah Williamson. Williamson passing to uh, Rachel Daly. And it's now with um, uh, Kira Walsh. Walsh crossing to, uh, I think that's um, um, Alessia Russo. Russo passing to uh, Lucy uh, Bronze. Bronze now towards uh, Stanway. Uh, but so uh, she gives the ball away to uh, to uh, Georgieva, and uh, Russ says that his player of the match would have been Lauren Hand. That's a fair. Sh that's a fair. That's a fair. That's a fair. That's a fair enough. That's a fa that's a fair shout. I would say as two minutes have now been added. As two minutes have now been added on, and Austria need to make those two minutes count in order to in order to equalise with. In order to equalise with England, but England are so far holding. But England are so far holding their ground really well, as um, as uh, it'll be a free kick this time given to Austria, and it and it will be, uh, and it will, and I think it will be. Uh, I um, no, no, it is a free kick given to uh, to Austria. Uh, can't see who will who'll take the free kick, though. It's actually Zinsberger who will take the free kick. Zinsberger uh, coming out of goal there because Austria seemed to be uh, seemed to be pretty desperate as something has happened to Rachel Daly just outside the goal area. Someone has someone must have tackled her from behind. She's shouting and wincing in pain, but she's uh, but she, but she's uh, quickly back up on her feet. Um, I couldn't see. I couldn't see who had tackled her from behind, but um, but so time is. But time is very much against Austria right now. With a with a just over thirty seconds to go until until the end of the match, as uh, Chloe Kelly now has the ball for England, but gives it away to Laura Weinreuter. Weinreuter. Loses the ball to uh, Ella Toon, but uh, but Austria are able but Austria are able to take the ball back. England now England now managed to regain control thanks to um, uh, Leah Williamson. We're now into the we're now into the final minutes of of injury time, and England have won the first game. Of the women's Euros, fantastic start to the fantastic start to the Lionesses campaign. Um, despite a shaky start at the beginning, Austria came. Austria showed their prowess, but after that Beth Me goal, it was it was it was all about it was all about defending for Austria, which they managed to do. England, England just couldn't get England just couldn't add any more goals. Um, uh, as as uh, predicted, but um, but uh, a win is a win nonetheless. Final score at Old Trafford in this opening game for the Women's Euro 2022: England one, Austria nil. I I've been Nicholas Jones. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage um, of the game tonight. And uh, join me again tomorrow. And join me again tomorrow when Northern Ireland take on Norway which is which is the sec which is the second match in group A so until so until so until so 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 I hope so I hope to join you then until so, so I hope to join you then good night